हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग वेल एंड टूडे इन द वीडियो आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द अल्टीमेट स्ट्रैटेजी यू शुड फॉलो इफ योर ड्रीम इज टू सेट इन वन ऑफ द कंपनी ऑफ फैंग और एनी गुड प्रोडक्ट बेस्ट कंपनी सो रिसेंटली आई हैव रिव्यूड मैनी रेज्यूमेंट्स एंड मैनी पोर्टफोलियो ऑफ मैनी स्टूडेंट्स एंड इवन वर्किंग पर्सनस and i have uh, noticed some uh, patterns so th- those things i will also share with you in this video and i will tell about the main things that are required if you are preparing for the fan so strategy we will discuss only two strategy one is dsa and the second thing is your profile now your profile does not mean your cv or your portfolio it's a complete thing your cv your portfolio your linkedin profile the project you are working on if you have git folio sorry if you have git uh, hub or you, any portfolio website each and everything so we will talk about each and everything and what strategy you should follow if you are preparing for fan so let's start. if we are targeting big product based company for sd1 role and uh, <coughs> fang and is a product based company data structures and algorithm is absolutely necessary because mainly questions are uh, dsa related and very few companies ask for uh, from fundamental of computer science and this kind of questions so our target will be data structures and algorithm now uh how should we prepare now as i have uh, mentored some of the person i have noticed one thing that people are not following a structured way they just simply opening lead code and they start solving if we go to lead code and check out the questions there are they are not any structured way like first question is two sum and then there is another hard questions and even in from 1 to 10 there are some hard questions so those who are uh, who are learning or trying to brush up their skill the structured way the questions are not like sorted in any way if you go to lead code so there are uh, some uh, tricks to follow that i am definitely going to share so first thing i will uh, suggest like uh, from where to prepare so if you have any hacker rank or hacker at account and if you have five star in those account i would say that those won't pay like anything to your cv because nowadays if you are going for referral or if you are mentioning your cv about your dsa profile make sure if you have code force code chef and lead code profile people only give value to these three profiles mainly so if you have five star in uh, hacker rank that doesn't mean you are a good coder maybe you are good in c++ or java or python that language you are using so make sure you are choosing only uh, among those three um, coding profiles if you are doing uh, coding the, this three as well uh, simultaneously no issues but uh, if you are like uh, you need to choose one then choose any of this three now which one to choose it's completely dependent on you now mainly people go to lead code because the lead code questions are uh, mainly sd sheets uh, people prepare questions from lead code and lead code you can find uh, amazon questions and all so this kind of things uh, you can find and in code chef there are uh, contest uh, every week so you can choose code chef as well so it's completely dependent on you so uh, my strategy or my suggestion will be uh, choose um, uh, any of this three now how to prepare or how to brush up so even if you are uh, from any other branch i i i can uh, assume that you know the basics of coding and in data structure you know the theory part now tree and graph people usually know the theory part but maximum people uh, leave it for advanced data structure so anyone with dsa knowledge mainly covers array linked list stack and queue mainly and they just leave the tree and graph for advancing because mainly for job preparation not for the big companies uh, tree uh, 
heap or um, graph are not that much uh, important so they leave that topic but my suggestion will be uh, if you are targeting big companies you must have knowledge of each and every data structure from array to graph each and everything now try try questions are not that much common if you want to do try you can do but you can leave try for uh, now but once you are completed preparation i would suggest don't leave try uh, you just uh, have try uh, like complete the try as well but try is not that much important but tree and graph is absolutely important so if you are going for amazon interview there you you will at least uh, one question will be asked from graph so you can't just uh, leave graph so as i mentioned first choose one of the id second point is complete the whole data structure as well as algorithm part like uh, if you are uh, there are variations uh, algorithms like backtracking dynamic programming dp uh, <laughs> dp is dynamic programming greedy sliding window uh, heap uh, this uh, priority queue this kind of things are there so prepare the algorithm as well so that even uh, you are uh, choosing uh, i got this question uh, from many people that we know array but when we are going to solve array question we found that uh, we are not able to solve it because it's um, application of dynamic programming and we are going like array string this kind of thing and dynamic programming we thought we can do later but um, my suggestion will be do parallelly you just learn the algorithms and data structures uh, obviously data structures meaning tree and graph because uh, array stack i am assuming that you have completed so uh, you can parallelly run uh, learn algorithms like dp uh, binary search this kind of things and uh, mainly dp question binary search questions are asked from array so you can apply them on array matrix this kind of things and then learn tree and graph totally so this should be your strategy that you are learning complete data structures and algorithm like uh, you just can't leave um, data some advanced data structure part or you just can't leave the algorithm part so you need to have the complete knowledge and then only you can uh, go on practicing and then choose one sd sheet and keep on practicing or uh, preparing so my suggestion will be uh, choose one id so that you can do coding now learn the complete data structures and algorithm and then go for one sd sheet and start preparing or, or uh, like practicing from that sd sheet so this is something you should follow now like when you will be practicing or you should be learning as i always suggest uh, take some notes and practice from uh, not only just read the theory or go and check some youtube video to understand knowledge after completing understanding knowledge go and code it so that uh, it will give two things one you you can do the coding things not only the theory is on your head you can you are able to write the code as well and it will add some value to your coding profile because at the end uh, in time of selection people will check your coding uh, profile so make sure you are following this strategy make sure that you are giving at least 2 to 3 months to brush up the data structures and algorithm completely now how to do what to do if you want a detailed video if you want me to just make a routine for you what to follow and all uh, i will surely come up with that in my next video but for now just make sure you are not Uh, choosing one question and try to understand and just waiting all your time on that question make sure you are following the strategy you are learning completely and once you are learning you are solving that question or maybe something uh, after uh, solving one question there in lead code you will get some suggestion with same kind of um, question pattern then you can go and solve that second question so like this you can follow so this should be your strategy and this way you should follow the uh, data structures so now i will move to the uh, uh, portfolio like what should be our profile or portfolio so as i mentioned uh, profile does not mean that you have a good profile uh, 
uh, or you, you have a good CV. Uh, you should have good CV, good projects, a LinkedIn uh, profile, obviously good DSA profile and if you have any portfolio website then it's very good. So how to do it and what are the things uh, should be there, I will come one by one. So suppose you are good at DSA and you think that you are ready for uh, your uh, preparation or you are ready for interview, you will now start applying. Now even though you are going to someone and asking for referral and if you are giving your CV in the job portal. So people will only check one of your CV page and based on that they will judge you. If you are going to LinkedIn for someone to refer you, they may ask your DSA profile or they may ask you to send the CV and if they found it good then only they will uh, refer you. Now what should be there in CV? So I have already prepared one video on my CV that uh, get me into the fan. You can go and check that video and I will shortly tell what are the things. Obviously first thing they will check your DSA profile. Make sure you are using either lead code, code shape or code force and they must have at least 250 to uh, 300 plus questions solved. Then only like people will understand that yes you have solved a good amount of questions and not only that 200 easy questions you solve. Good questions and those are important in terms of fan like those are previous year questions those are generally asked this kind of question that you mainly get in any SD sheet. Those kind of questions if you have solved then only like uh, people will consider that your profile is good. So uh, after DSA the next thing is project. So if you don't have any good project to add so your CV th this won't any value. For example suppose uh, in company like we now we know that react is in uh, demand so even though people need react developer or for any project they want front end or um, back end developer uh, and uh, they are uh, sh uh, shortlisting cv anyway your interview will be based on dsa but in cv they will ask uh, check for the react developers like who are the react developers there and they will only um, select based on that so i would suggest make sure that you have at least two uh, projects two good project to show one obviously full stack project and one uh, project you can make on based on data structure uh, any data structure kind of project that i have prepared you can check my in my video so this thing you can have and now full stack project i will always suggest that make sure you are using react in front end and back end you can uh, use uh, mongodb and node.js if you are good at java and you know spring boot you can use that as well so this is completely your choice but make sure you are having a good full stack project now uh, first dsa profile uh, then uh, second is uh, full stack project now third is a good link link profile so this thing that uh, people generally ignore like how to make a LinkedIn profile uh, good. So I will share one thing when I was at Infosys that is one service based company I did got a message from an employee of Amazon and he said he, he will refer me because he found my uh, profile is good for uh, his team as his team is hiring so that time i was already interviewing from amazon so that's why i said him no but this is an example though i was from service based company my profile got shortlisted i mean a person checked my profile and he find me suitable for uh, amazon so that's why i would say suggest that you must Prepare a good LinkedIn profile. Make sure you have updated CV in the uh, LinkedIn uh, intro. You have everything what you know and everything in short uh, as a heading or maybe as a uh, intro kind of thing so that it depicts the things about yourself. Similarly, make sure you are active on LinkedIn. If you are doing working on some project, do some post like post what you are doing and make sure your experience and all are updated so if you have a good linkedin profile this is definitely going to be a plus point in your job hunt search now the third uh, uh, the fourth thing that is uh, like optional but still i would suggest if you know html css make sure you are preparing one good uh, portfolio website 
and uh, if you are doing a lot of projects uh, make sure you you have a good, good github uh, so that people uh, if they want to check what are the projects you want they can go and check uh, that you have worked this kind of things and you have good knowledge of uh, github so make sure your github is also very cleanly done like uh, professionally done each and everything you have done so make sure you have these four things uh, in your profile first obviously dsa profile second a good cv third is good project and fourth is good linkedin uh, profile and fifth is uh, additionally github or uh, your portfolio website so if you have these things you are like uh, strategically you are very much close to the fan or your uh, any good product based company and you are like uh, more concentrated to specific job hunt way like you have each and everything that are required and you, your preparation is also good so like your chance to get the interview call will increase and as you are preparing more focusing on dsa uh, you are solving sd sheet you have pra practice more focus questions your chance of clearing the interview will also increase so these are the things and these are some points i have mentioned in my uh, in my video i guess uh, this is surely going to help you so if you have any other query on this make sure you are uh, commenting on that and you can join my telegram channel uh, there you can find all my videos on it and uh, you can also find all other videos in my channel and if you find this video informative please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you